So we talked in previous podcasts of Peter Stashley's brother Marion, but this was the middle, uh, what do you call it, the middle child of the group. One of the most underrated players in NHL history. One of the best left wingers to ever suit up in the NHL. Of course, we're going to talk about, the, again, the very tremendously underrated Anton Stashney. Now, you couldn't say that Anton was uh, skating in the shadow of his brother Peter because he was as dangerous as he could be. Now, he was actually drafted 188 overall by the Flyers in a 78 NHL amateur draft. But the selection was ruled invalid after it was determined Stashney was too young to be drafted. Always check those birth certificates, ladies and gentlemen. He re-entered and was drafted 83rd overall by the Nordiques in the 79 NHL entry draft. He eventually played 650 career NHL games, scoring 250 goals, 52 goals, and 384 assists for 636 points, and scored at least 25 goals in eight consecutive seasons. Now, he played his first nine seasons, along, uh, seasons alongside his brother Peter, four of which was also played alongside his other brother Marion. They were the third uh, trio of brothers to play on the same professional hockey team with the Plaguers and the Bentleys. Now, he ranks ninth overall in NHL points by the Slovak player. Now, Anton was born in Bratislava, the fifth son of Stanislav and Franziska. His two older brothers, Vladimir and Bulamil, were born when the family still lived in the village of Prezina, about 770 kilometers north of Bratislava. They moved to Bratislava before the birth of Marion in 53, Peter in 56, and Eve in 66. Stanislav worked for a state-run company that built hydroelectric dams until 1980 when he retired and mainly dealt with managing inventory. Now, uh, his mother was a stay-at-home spouse, but the family bond that they, they put together allowed uh, the both, all three stashies to grow as individuals and players. Now, his brother Marion had a little bit better numbers with Bratislava before he came over, and so did Peter, but his numbers for Bratislava were quite strong. Last season with, with Bratislava, 60 points in 40 games, including 30 goals. First season with the Nordiques, ladies and gentlemen, 85 points in 80 games, uh, 72 points in 82, 26 goals, and beating Montreal in the playoffs that year was tremendous. He had 15 points in 16 games. 83, 92 points. He was always at that cusp of 70, 80, 90 points. 32 goals. 84, 62 points in 69 games. 85, 38 goals in 79 games, 80 points. 86, 31 goals. What a consistent gentleman. 74 points. 62 points in 87, 27 goals. Uh, 88, 27 goals. But uh, eventually uh, his point total started to fade like Marion did a couple of years ago. A couple of years uh, in, as we say. Last year at Quebec, he had 37 points in 55 games. He was sent back to the head of Halifax Citadels, which made him kind of a, one of the most popular players in Halifax at the time. But then went to play in Europe for the NDA for three seasons and then finished off his career with 11 goals for Bratislava in 94. Uh, again, NHL totals in the playoffs, 52 points in 66 games. A money player in the playoffs. Definitely, definitely. Now, internationally, World uh, European Junior Championship 77, six goals and eight points in six games. 78 at the World Junior Championships, six points in six games, four goals. 79 World Juniors, seven points in six games. 79, his first World Championships, six points in eight games. In 1980, for the disastrous Team Czechoslovakia Olympics, who were kind of humiliated by USA in the, in the medal round, the eventual gold medal winners. Eight points in six games. So at the World Juniors, 21 points in 18 games. And at the senior level for uh, uh, Czechoslovakia, 14 points in 14 uh, games. And uh, you're wondering why he never played for a team in Czechoslovakia, the 81 Canada Cup. It's because he had already crossed over to the NHL. And obviously, defecting wasn't going to allow him to come back. Now... Very often, uh, you know, mistakes are made, but I think the Flyers' biggest mistake is not really officially checking his uh, birth records because let's look at this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for a quick a quick second, okay? 1978 there, okay? He was only 19. Did he think it was 20? We don't know. I haven't heard any book that I've uh, read about the stashies talks about that. I think it was just basically a mistake. 
either were they giving the wrong date or maybe you know whoever that Bobby Clark told the draft and uh, couldn't do that correctly but it's kind of a bummer so ladies and gentlemen thanks for listening give me a like comment or subscribe we're going to be uh, talking about some more WHA and uh, European players in the next uh, short podcast anyway we do thank you for listening happy Canadian Thanksgiving you know how we celebrate Thanksgiving in Canada four things beer put in hockey we would but there's no games and of course bitching about the states how they're so stupid compared to us in relation to COVID no joke that's what we talk about in Canada you don't you don't talk in the states about Canada about how good we are at COVID right you don't even give a shit about us we can tell you to fuck off and you wouldn't catch on <laughs> maybe so maybe not I don't know have a good day